Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest ISO God of all times. Listen up, man. I got a new build for y'all. The best shot creator build in NBA 2K21 with this new unique pie chart that they have introduced in 2K. Now I'm gonna be showing you two different builds at two different positions. So don't skip the video, dickhead, or you not gonna understand what I'm talking about. You not gonna know why or how I made the builds like this. One build is gonna have less defensive, more finishing, you know, same shooting, same playmaking. And then the other build is gonna have, and then the other build is gonna have low finishing, but a lot of defensive and lock take as a shot creator, playmaking shot creator with this unique pie chart. And yeah, the pie chart I'm gonna be using, bro, before I show y'all all this shit, it's this is just if you want to be different you want to have more shooting you know you don't want to use the same pie chart as everyone else but i recommend my the the normal play shot pie chart the you know the half playmaking half green but this is cool for this build it's the best builds out of this pie chart right um the difference between the pie charts is you literally only get more shooting and maybe plus two on some attributes, and then it's like minus, it's a slight little stupid difference, but you only get one set of Hall of Fame. Anywho, so before we get into all that, make sure you subscribe if you know, 300K on the way, you see the goddamn sub count, help a young nigga grow, make sure y'all like up the vid, it helps me tremendously. What you doing with your life, like up the vid, it's free! Turn on them post notice, and make sure y'all bots follow me on goddamn Twitch, man. Lord baby hawk, my boy. You want to see me play live and go crazy roast niggas all that other all that other type of shit follow me turn on noties on uh it doesn't show up on my shit but yeah follow me on twitch bro i stream there i stream there every day and yeah man so for the first build i'm gonna show you it's gonna be the low finishing high defensive lock take shot creator shit so look you're gonna go shooting guard with the other build, you're going to go a different position. So make sure y'all watch this full vid. I'm going to show you the best badges for them. All that shit, right? We are going to go this. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not going that. We're going this pie chart right here. So you see the differences? If you just want to be OP, th th this is the wave, bro. You feel me? Um, I have the best play shot build on the two. One for twos and one for threes. Pro-Am, all that shit. So just go watch my uh, James Harden build video. And yeah, you'll see. But as you can see, like you get a higher layup, higher dunk here, higher shooting here, less shooting here, you know, less playmaking here, Hall of Fame, more playmaking here, less defensive shit. It's, it's stupid shit, right? But hey, this, you know, y'all like to be different. For the physical, you're gonna choose speed. You want the most speed possible, correct? Make sure y'all subscribe, my boy. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Now these, see, look, 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 look. They telling you to subscribe. Make Goku go crazy, my boy. So look, man. These are the best attributes for this build. I know I do not like builds with no finishing. But if you're going to make him like this, you basically have to have no finishing and just have your attributes there. You're going to be able to dunk the ball. But um, yeah, the other build got more finishing. So basically, if you're going to pick this build, you might as well have max shooting. 27 shooting there's literally no reason not to like if you're picking this you want to have more shooting for some reason this is for you my boy um the playmaking we went with 18 this is how you got to upgrade your defensive eight badges you're gonna be able to have lock take and be a play shot so yeah make sure you go go burly you want to be as intimidating and as big as possible and look so you can do six three six five all this stuff but Look, I would go 6'5", right? Or not 6'6". Six, six. I would go 6'5", right? Because if you're 6'3", what? That's one more speed, one more acceleration, three more ball handle? I mean, you, you can if you want, but you know, you want it to be defensive and stuff like that. It, it, it's, it's up to you. I don't really think it's, it's worth it, to be honest. Uh, since you basically made this build to play defense, you might as well go 6'5". Right, you're gonna go 179 weight. And for the wingspan, you're going to max your wingspan, my boy. L look at all those stats, your ball handle only go down one. 
your three midi, all that stuff. This is this is the defensive version. It's gonna help you finish more, dunk more, etc. Now, if you want to make this build name a shot creator, you'll have to get less playmaking. Then you gotta make your pass accuracy like 79 or something. And I guess just put it on the post moves, but you're gonna have less playmaking. But if y'all wanna do that, go ahead. You don't want the same name. It's shit dumb. Who cares, bro? Kill people. Dominate people. You wanna be the best possible, bro. You really gonna give up badges? So just dumb to me. <laughs> but hey, so look, you can go lock tech. You already got all the sharp shooting ability in the world. Or you could go sharp or shot creator take the most overpowered easiest takeovers to get that make the skill the game take no skill right um you can go shot creator you know you can go shot creator if you're gonna fade a lot at the midi that that's really your game you do like spinning spinning stuff to try to get ankles in your takeover um, you do like some type of hop steps to get ankle breakers um they might buff it in patch three who knows but um yeah when you fade at the three point it don't go up like it does at the three see now with with sharp take you can fade at the three you feel me um and it'd be even better um but yeah like i think sharp take is overall a better takeover just more of a power you can even go play making if i was you i would go sharp take to be honest y'all let me know what takeover y'all would go with and bam you got the playmaker shot creator Manu Ginobili. Ginobili! Can I get a Ginobili in the comments, my boy? I'm going to show you all these badges, and then I'm going to show you all the second. Now, you can't go with cross key, contact, or consistent. If I was you, I would go with these badges right here for this build. I, um, Test out tireless shooter. If it's not really like that, you know, put the, the badge points elsewhere. If you don't know how to dex and you don't feel like this helps you, put the badge points elsewhere. Honestly, for this particular build, you want to be real toxic on the twos or even play on the threes and you run a point. I think this is the best, the best badge lineup. You know, you always cheese hiding behind a screen. You pass it to your center. This shit not going to get picked off. You feel me? Um, you got bailout for when you drive or say you take a fake shot, you go in the air, pass it off and you cool. Um, floor general because you, the guys you're going to be running with most likely ain't going to be be shooters so floor general to boost their other offensive stats i think this would be the best to be honest um you could take some off on pluckable or bailout or needle to upgrade lob city if you feel you need that and until ankles start working you don't really need to put nothing on those this is what i would put on for the defensive badges if you're guarding ball you know on the tools shit like that but yeah man so let's get into this other build make sure y'all subscribe man okay now for this second build the build with more offensive, less defensive, and actual finishing badges for this pie chart. You're gonna make them a PG. This is like the Pro-Am version, the 3v3 version, right? The other builds, 2v2 version, all around version, you know? But just less finishing. I don't like no finishing. So making this version for y'all real quick. Make sure y'all hit up that like button to help a young nigga grow. You know, we're going to go with that pie chart right there. Speed. Okay, so this is the build with actual finishing badges. It's the best attribute layout if you want to have actual finishing badges. Um, the four defensive not really going to matter that much because you're not going to be guarding ball. You're going to be guarding corner, and then your height is going to help you out too. So, yeah, you want that shoe and you want that playmaking. Now, we're going to make them burly to play even better defense, my boy. Now, look, you can go 6'3 if you want, but if you want to make up for your defense, you go 6'5. It's only one speed difference, three ball handle. It's, it's up to you, bro. It's, it's up to you. It's going to help you with your finishing, all that shit, too. 179 weight. And for the wingspan, right? This is pure offensive. What you could do, what I would do for this particular build, I would go lowest wingspan. You're doing offensive. You already not investing in the defense. You might as well go lowest wingspan. You can go max to make up for your defense. Um, that's up to you. If you want to do something different with this, but you want that, that 93 off rip, that 95 midi off rip. 
you know, shooting over a hundred off rip. I would do this if you were to make this build. And these are your three takeovers, man. I would go sharp, most brain dead, easiest takeover to use. Same with shot creator. Um, until they buff ankle breakers, uh, you know, if you feel me, I would go sharp. You could actually fade at the three and get a bigger boost than fading with shot creator at the three. So I think that's the difference. And bam, we Steve Nash, Jamal Murray, the nigga I showed on the on the net on the thumbnail, Stephen Curry. Let me show you the badges I would pick. Now I haven't completely figured out what's the best, but these are my thoughts. Either Max Gold could be the best for three badges, or this could be the best, or this could be the best. Or this could be the best or this could be the best I don't know yet y'all let me know which badge lineup y'all thinks the best for three finishing badges and what you have figured out but yeah oh we got another subscriber see you got to subscribe man you want that to pop up man make sure y'all follow me on twitch Lord baby Hulk on twitch man I think this the best lineup for this build right here um, if you don't really mess with tireless or slippery, you can put the badge points elsewhere. I think everything else mandatory. You can rock something like this. I think this would be the best right here. You know, dimer since you're probably gonna be playing with shooters too. And um, yeah, overall, you know, I think I think this would be something raw, my nigga. Flashy passer OP. And you could do something like this, man. You wanna have a little bit of clamps, a little bit of intimidator, intimidator definitely nerf. And rim protector, man, on silver, because people might try to exploit you, and you want to be able to stop them. You might be able to run with no intimidator, but I don't know if I wanna, you know, I don't know if I wanna do that. But yeah, man. Anywho, that's the end of the video. Make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. Turn on post notifications. Subscribe to my second channel. All my rage, tajas, and funny moments are on there. I'm still going to be posting that on this channel too. But like all the ones that, that were demonetized and stuff, I put them on my second channel completely uncensored. Make sure y'all go sub to that. Follow me on Twitch. We'll be posting tomorrow. Check out all my other build videos. And yeah, man, you want to get right for this gen. Do not buy no goddamn modded controller. Anywho, I'm out this hoe. I love all y'all. Appreciate the support. Like the vid, turn on post notice, adios.